Okay guys, I'm going to show you how to make your own personalised chip stack from your normal chips like that which are just your plain standard boring chips into something a little bit more unique so the way we mainly want to do it is obviously with these being a flat surface we want to try and cut a little indent in the centers so then when we print some uh, inserts like so they'll fit nicely in obviously if you're just sticking a sticker on them when you're messing about with your chip stacks they'll just catch and they'll get ruined no good so what we need to do is cut a little indent I don't know if you can make it out on the video that it's got a we've cut down like say that's one that's not been cut where it's just totally flat and that one we've cut the middle out so we can actually get an insert to fit nice and snug under the surface so I'll show you how we're cutting them out so we're using a router table and I've got a 6mm cutter head in there and I've made a rough jig um, again it's trial and error because it depends on what chip size you're using um, and obviously how big you want your indents uh, and your insert stickers to be um, my inserts are 25 mil so what I've done is I've set it such a way so I can run that all the way around and basically cut out the center a couple of millimeters and you only want it a couple of millimeters proud if it's too deep it'll um, take out the um, you'll reach the metal core and it'll just feel weird in your hand so I'll just show you quickly how we're doing that so a new chip obviously with a flush surface and you want some sort of device to just hold it in place I've just got a hose pipe um, a pipe from a Hoover I think with some uh, carpet tape to stick it down with and then you've got a good fixing like if I do that now you'll see the scratches that it's already cutting so I'll just show you how to uh, what it looks like <laughs> As you can see already I've cut out um, it's about probably a mil and a half deep so then when I get one of my inserts it'll stick nicely in there and there's still a depth that you can feel so basically your chips won't all keep rubbing on each other so your chip stacking will be still a nice sound um, what we do now see it's a nice little fit that is then just tidy up the edge a little bit I always use just my little scalpel and then just literally take out that edge a little bit more just tidy it up again you can do this it's optional but I'm a little bit of an OCD freak so it looks a little bit neater and then uh, all I'm doing because what I've done to make my inserts is I made my design uh, using um, Photoshop or you can use whatever you want PaintShop Pro um, make your little design and then I just made my image and then I put it in Microsoft Word resized it to 24 mil and then I used a 25 millimeter cutter to a, a die um, just to punch them all out again the 
the paper for this, I got 25 sheets of this nice metallic paper, laser jet paper off eBay for I think it was about a fiver for 25 sheets and my actual die, my uh, punch to cut them all out was only £6 for a 25mm cutter, again off eBay. And as you can see they, they look already really nice. So then all I do, is I found this way easier than getting adhesive paper and then, because the adhesive paper, it messes with the cutter and then your cutter dies after a few cuts. I was able to cut out literally hundreds and hundreds of these in a, a few hours. It's really quick. And then just using a little bit of prick stick, get them nicely centered and nicely pressed down and straight away when they go off when they go hard um, like say these ones they do not move like adhesive paper it'll cut it'll stay kind of tacky like uh, peeling off a sticker but when you use something like print stick or anything it they will not come off um, so again uh, I found it a lot better um, your next thing what I would suggest is obviously seal it with some sort of um, maybe some car lacquer, a varnish, a gloss. I've ordered some um, acrylic, some gloss acrylic, um, a water based one which will I can fill this the remaining of this cup in. Um, again I'll put a continuation to the end of this video on there because I'm still waiting for that to come and we'll see how that looks once it's um, once it's been sealed. Um, I like to have mine two sided so I might as well just show you doing the other side as well while we're at it so I'll stick that back on Okay, so then again, just uh, before I got interrupted, I'm just tidying up my edges. So then I've got a nice seat for my sticker. And then basically stick another one in there. Obviously I'm just messing about with this one because this one's going to be a £100 chip but I've not got any of the uh, £100 inserts so push it right in and brilliant 
absolutely perfect go and send it as nice as you can but again um, like I say that one's already gone off and that one's not going to budge so there you have it how to make your own little personalised chip stack for um, a fraction of the cost of buying an actual personalised chip stack um, if we do look tons better and like I say once they've been sealed they will look good there's some 2000s, got some 1000s done. Again, trial and error with your, uh, your cutting jig, and good luck.